All right, we are ready to open the meeting at this time. Please turn all cell phones, electronic devices to off or vibrate. Mr. Philip Warren, would you please lead us in our prayer and pledge this evening, sir? Father God, thank you so much for your many blessings. Thank you for your many blessings. I thank you so much for your love for us. I pray that our relationship with you changes the way uh, that we treat those around us. I pray that you'll be with us today, help guide us, make decisions that within your will and the, in the best interest of the citizens of Ballinger. I pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. All right, and so the minutes of the May 1st, 2017 meeting. Everybody have a chance to look over those? I make a motion we approve the minutes of the correction. Have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, visitors who are not on the regular agenda will be given the opportunity to address the council on any subject at this time. No, y'all are the only two here that I don't have on the agenda, so that's a no, no. Here comes some. There's more. Okay. We were waiting on you to start the meeting. Oh, I knew that. I heard. I'm teasing you. You know that. <laughs> now we are actually on agenda item four at this time. Visitors who are not on the regular agenda item will be given the opportunity to address the council on any subject at this time, and then some other additions started coming in. So, if y'all are not on the agenda and you would like to speak, you have approximately a two-minute period to do so. Okay, I'll speak. Still I go or you want you go? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Um, I, I think I know most of you. I don't know if y'all know me. I'm Gina King. Um, I've been a citizen here for 50 years, a uh, property owner here for 30 plus years. And um, the purpose of my attendance is to show support and faith for public services as a garbage collection um, service. Um, I wish them to continue as a garbage collection service. I've never had or heard any complaints against Republic. I believe them to be an efficient and first-rate business. They run a compliant and capable landfill operation. And I'm sure you're aware that the core values of Republic are to be respectable, responsible, resourceful, reliable, reliable and relentless in their capacity as our garbage collection service. I respectfully urge the council to accept the contract of Republic Services. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Ms. Bolton. Well, I'm here to support Republic to a degree. Uh, I get real good service. I'm real happy with them. But I understand that uh, there's a financial issue. Uh, we know what we have as Republic, and I have no complaints with them. Uh, we don't know what we're getting with this other thing. But, uh, you know, if, if 
we increase the the fee on our water bill from what we're being charged now that's going to push this water bill over a hundred dollars a month in those respects i understand the city has to make some money to fund streets police force other things too and i agree with that but i do know that in some respects y'all are making good money off the dumpsters too I don't know what they charge you, but there's places where they're, they're charged a dumpster fee on every one of them. There's five of them using a dumpster. That, uh, that's bound to make you some money. But if this increases and keeps increasing, uh, it's, it's, it's really going to, I'm sure it's going to have an effect on the service we get from them. I mean, they have to make they have to make money too, but uh, it's going to be pushing a lot of, of income uh, over the the edge. Some people can barely pay that hundred dollars a month for their water and the things now too. So uh, you know, smart man. Uh, Y'all can work this out. <laughs> but, and women too. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're smart. Oh, I had to go first. I'm just one of you guys. But really, I hope, I hope y'all can try to negotiate this thing for for the public can still uh, continue. <clears throat> That's all we have to say. All right. Thank you. Mr. Langston, you have anything, sir? No? No, sir. All right. Anyone else? All right, thank you all very much. <clears throat> we are going to jump down to item six on the agenda and do you consider of approval of the building permits at this time, please. Okay, down to home health at uh, 1029. We're going to do a parking garage. Roof unit. Uh, Sherry Miller, School of Six, South Ken. We're building a uh, 10 by 10 by 8 shed. In the box. In the box, that's why I said in the box. Shed in the box. Kim Allen, 2005 and 9, wants to build a uh, portable barn. And Unless I get one, I think. Maybe St. Mary's. 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 St. I guess everything meets, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, counter building, um, is that just going to be an open call for? I uh, think, yeah. Yeah, actually, it's going to be just a room to use that time. Okay. Yes. Where is the Catholic building going to be? The what now? The building of the Catholic Church. Beside the new, uh, the hall that they've got. Beside the new hall? Yeah. Okay. The previous, I mean, the actual immediate one that just finished? In, in the park, the big, there you go. The, the big hall. Oh, oh, there. Okay. Hmm. Um, Motion accept the bids as presented. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the minutes. Yeah, 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 you have no issues with any of these? No, no. So moved. Second. Thank you. Aye. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to go back to five. Discuss and take action on a proposed contracts for community alert system. Is that going to be you, Chief? That's going to be me. Um, I recently got quotes from two different companies on emergency alert systems. Granted, the only emergency alert system we have is our air horns that some work and don't. Um, what I propose is that we get something 
new electronic wires. Um, code red basically takes the data that we give them from nine to one, and they give it out to everybody. Um, next up, you actually have to sign up for it, and you can opt out if you want it, if you don't want it. So I'm pretty sure Bob doesn't want text messages going through his phone at midnight all the time. Because what? You don't want text messages. Oh, no, I don't mind. I don't love anyone. No. But um, <laughs> what kind of volume are you looking at with Nexel? I think that's the Nexel. It, both of them are based on population. No, no. You said text messages coming in all the time. Oh, um, it just depends on what we do. Um, you can, with Nexel, you can have different groups. Like you can have a chamber group. You can have a city group, water group, emergency group. You know, you can have all different kinds of groups. You can and just thinking about what goes out to yes, yeah. and they can sign up for whatever they want. So if they want messages from the chamber, the chamber says we're having a parade today. They get a text message on. You know, uh, city water boil notice. They'll send out a text message, email, voicemail. Um, you know, you still have a rotary phone. They have a voicemail system that sends out a message to you. Um, looking through both of these, I think Nixle is going to be the best bet for both of us, for anybody, fire department, city, police, granted a little bit more, but their options are a lot more advanced than Code Red. So Code Red, I think, is a little bit harder to understand, not as user friendly as Nixle, and not only um, our surrounding communities also have Nexel. San Angelo is recently on the Nexel. So you sign up for it, you can get messages from San Angelo as well. So I mean, it doesn't, it's not just for police, fires, for city, for chamber, um, for everybody. You know, um, Fourth of July, we have fireworks, we're going to send out messages and we have fireworks as well. Again, if Brian's having a bad day, you can send that going. That's a prime today. So, but <laughs> look and see about that text message today. Yeah. So, but it's up to y'all which one y'all want. I uh, stop, but I do really think we need something in place instead of having to go with the old county horn siren. The stand one's 5,500 a year, the other's 3,700. Yeah, 3,700 plus. Um, I think it was $800 for data right. mm -hmm. that they they, don't, they didn't put on there because they, want, they wanted to be competitive, so they took the data thing off. Well, you ought to have to overwhelm me with taking this. We, uh, you know, we just invested almost $100,000 in cop sync. Yeah. So, Stan, there's no feature in cop sync, the enhanced version on the 911 version. That overlaps this name. No. The, the cop safe thing is basically for law enforcement, it's sensitive information. Yeah, you're talking about getting things in the school. Yeah. There's no weather alert feature. No. No. And this is basically a public information kind of thing. It's like Facebook. Coming via personal computer or cell phone and or cell phone. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to have people download that app or something? Um, no, nah, it's web-based, so it's all, all it is is username and uh, password. So uh, when we get set up on it, we can have so many administrators, and they're only allowed to send out messages. So how, how do you get people signed up for it? Yeah, that's basically the app password. You just uh, so they'll go on the city website somewhere and just sign yeah, up for it? Yeah, I mean, they'll, um, so even, even they'll with Nixle, they, they, they give you the information to put a quick link on your web page so that way you can go straight to it, sign up for it, and you're good to go. Corey, how hard would it be for you to set up a database for that? <coughs> I mean, we can throw, if we use that, it's easy to throw a link on so it. As far as the whole city, mm -hmm. if, if it interface with Excel, could you do that? I could look into it. Okay. I'm just looking at it. Right now, we're just using the, you know, website, Facebook, that kind of stuff. 
when, when we do have an oil water notice, we had one last summer, and hopefully we will never have one again. It, you know, there's a certain number of hospital, and this happened on Saturday, which makes it even more compounding. Hospital was one, um, the courthouse, the jail is another one. But the best method was Facebook. But the problem with that is you can't guarantee the messages getting to the end user. And then um, some people don't get the message until it's too late. Um, this system could be used for that, but it also could be used for when the, when the F5 is coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it connects to, I mean, once you send it, say you send out a message, that automatically you select the options Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Yeah. You know, email, voicemail, text message. You can do all, all yeah. varieties. Yeah. So we have in house control over this mm -hmm. through the fire department. Yes. Okay. Fire department, I want to weigh in on it. I know you weren't here for that, but I'm just curious. What is the what is the fee for code redhead if they're charging are they charging something for the service? Thirty seven hundred dollars plus I think like eight hundred dollars for data. So all this is city paid for, there's not like sign up fees or rat fees <laughs> or anything else. The the San Angelo Nixel uh, to the firefighters that, that are over there, uh, they've got a group set up just for their station. So but they seem to they seem to really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I mean just for their station, just they got a station group. Okay. They got a station group, you know, and you're looking for somebody to change shifts or you know, okay. just, a, just any any inner city communication or whatever, the way it can be broken <coughs> up for a private group that just you know So the fire department here could use it. Yes sir. So it's unlimited groups mm -hmm. uh, that you can define. Yes. This will seem to just be more okay. Yeah. Not only up to date, but just we have a lot more options with it. Yeah, more integrated, more streamlined. Everything, more really. everything. And I'm not saying cover it in there. It's just it's not there right now. <clears throat> so Stan, why did you have a little elderly lady on the street that has a landline? It, it sends out a voice message. So is there a landline on the landline? Yes. Okay. So yeah. those people are not left there. No. Like you said, even if they have the rotary or whatever, it's going to send them a message. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be an automated message that they pick up and say hello, and they start sending it, they'll start sending this message. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. so. no. I don't want to leave that up to the office one on one, but I mean, looking through all the everything, I think Nexo is going to be the best thing for us. Even awesome. though it's a little bit more, I've heard of your opinion. What's the term obligation of next? Was there an end date to it? Is it 12 No, it's a yearly contract. Automatically renewal? Mm -hmm. It showed us the first three years only, though, right? Yeah. 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 We could probably need to take a look at the contract to see cancellation terms and everything yes. else just to make sure. Yeah, they didn't even know that. They yeah. Didn't. No, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just. Uh, I mean, legislation ends. Aren't they requiring larger cities to do this already? Yes. Oh, that's in the works. Yes. So it's going to get to us eventually yes. anyway. This is something that we'll address. Every city will probably end up addressing this in the next five years. Yeah. Some sort of messaging communication system. And, you know, it's just a benefit to this. But two years ago, we had to go door to door to get people out of the house with the possible floods, river rising, mm -hmm. and everything. So. And then a month ago, scared the tornado. Yeah. So, I mean, probably won't have to use it a whole lot, but it'll be great when we have it. I just remember back to waiting Robert Lee when I fired going door to door. Yeah. It'd been nice if we had a text message. You want to say something now? Yeah. yeah. I get that one now. So, yeah, so. All right, we definitely have some interest, but I think we do have a motion to take it for now until we get some more information on the contract. Let me just get the contract to make sure there's no mm -hmm. packages in there. I think, I think you're right. I think Nixon looks good. All right, awesome. motion to table the proposed contract. Motion. Motion. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, here are the police activity monthly report. Oh, she's family in our ash. 
TV last year. You don't have white TV on yellow packets. I printed out a different one. You got white TV on there? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, you'll see a, a notice that that white TV is actually down. We did receive a grant last fiscal year that got put in there, so that's the, the representation of the difference there. Um, water, we're up 216, 497. We will make a payment, uh, the bond payment, 470. 450 this year, right? So, <coughs> 455,000 um, June 2nd is when our bond payment is due. We'll make that payment. 
Um, we've been setting it aside uh, since January. And so uh, that is on the uh, water treatment plant in the RO system. And we have five more wonderful panels, six more wonderful panels to make. Um, and we will be done with that. Um, sales tax is strong, it's up. Um, we continue to um, continue to do well in that endeavor. Um, we're up about 50,000 compared to last year. And so um, we look forward to having another good year in sales tax. Uh, our businesses are doing a great job of, of, of making sales and, and it's you know, testing to the close guy. Um, our street budget is, is a little bit out of whack. We've got some trucks that broke down. You won't see it on this, you'll see it on May. Um, but we're going to get those uh, vehicles repaired and fixed. Um, Scott Watkins wanted me to pass along that it, if you live on 11th Street from Bearcat Stadium to just past Jeff Butt's house, there's no correlation there. Um, we will zip that up on May 25th, which is the day after school. And we will have it paid by the time school comes back in August. We will zip it, pack it, um, wet it, roll it, do that twice, two layers of base, one shot of asphalt, two layers of rock. And so 11th Street's gonna be one of those projects we work on. We wanted to get that done, but we can't, we did not want to do that around school. Um, the traffic there, especially on Zinnat Street, uh, what's the one right behind, right behind the school where they pick the kids up? Uh, Ninth Street. Um, no. Runs on the opposite right. side of Bearcat City. Every day. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to try to do some repair on Avenue A as well. Excuse me. So uh, we are doing some more street repair. We've got the park in fairly decent shape. We're going to zip from the entrance by Bobo's house all the way back down. We'll zip that up and pack it and roll it. And so uh, you'll start seeing a lot more street repair uh, being done. Um, we've hired some summer hands, uh, some kids, to operate a, a lawnmower for us and, and try to take care of some of the mowing that we've got. Uh, that will free up some people to do, to do the street paving work. Um, TCQ is in town today. They did their annual inspection. Um, just like every good city, we found three real easy violations. Uh, that weren't big deals. We did capitalize the sentence. I'm not making this stuff up. Uh, we had an open investigation from five years ago, and it's closed. Uh, they just didn't file paperwork, but we got in trouble for it anyway. And we didn't have a sign up. And so uh, um, you guys do a TCQ all the time, we all know. Uh, we're going to drive off the boundary and justify their existence somehow. And so uh, we got that. We came out pretty good. Um, I testified last, uh, I got the Wednesday morning testified Thursday morning on Senate Bill 2. Um, it's a provision on, on our rate adjustments every year. Um, the bill was stripped out uh, Friday night, or the provision that we, we were opposed to was stripped out Friday night. The floor vote will be tomorrow to find out how that goes. Um, that's going to impact our ability to levy a tax. Um, other than that, we're closed for Memorial Day on the 29th. Uh, and that is more or less my report, Mr. Mayor. Anybody got questions? Right. Do you have a plan yet for Madness? I do not have a plan at all for Madness. In fact, I asked Mr. Fisher that Thursday afternoon. Um, there was a, we, we talked last time about the world McCarver Drive where we had dug up a hole that was, we thought the water was seeping. We replaced the sewer line, replaced the manhole, we're hoping to solve that problem. Atmos, um, my confidence in them is buoyed somewhat. Um, they said they want to replace the gas line while we had the whole dug out, which makes sense. It's been that way for a week and a half. Um, and just for the record, the city of Ballinger did not delay the putting that hole back in, we're waiting on Atmos to fix the gas line. But there's a big, massive hole. Some of these folks may not know the Atmos issue. Um, <clears throat> for those of you interested in street repair, which I'm pretty sure that's everybody who lives here, um, we, uh, 
had planned on doing a number of miles of streets in town. Atmos came to us shortly after and said, we are replacing every steel gas line in town. And it's going to take seven years to do it. And here's the fun part. They don't know when they're going to start. They don't know where they're going to start. They don't know where they're going to finish. And so what we agree as a city we do not want to happen is come in there and put a couple hundred thousand dollars in on the street to have Atlas come back in and, and rip it out. And so I'm waiting on Atlas to give me a plan. Uh, we know that they're going to start now it's late July. Um, and so we are we're targeting areas where we don't think they're going to be replacing steel lines. Um, but they can't tell us anything other than We'll be here tomorrow to start. So, does that answer your question, Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Anything from you, Mr. Points? Councilman Arp? Yes. The, uh, just to clarify what you said about the budget, those grant proceeds were 315000 mm -hmm. And so, if you add that 315000 or if you take out that 315000 from the 600000 mm -hmm. that we were positive. We're actually having a better year this year. Yes. So not a lot better, but it's better. Yeah. And then it's just to shore up what you're talking about. Absolutely. Absolutely. So street repair, uh, hopefully in two months. I'll be showing you pictures of what we're working on and by the time we uh, by the time uh, the Bearcats play football we'll have a new street and after we win our first state championship we'll have to change eleventh street to state championship white or something like that. I didn't say champion championship in one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mayor, do you have any questions for me, sir? No, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. That concludes my report. Move along. Here request for future agenda items from city councilors. Anything else we need to get on the agenda, please? Nobody's in the top. Nobody saying? All right, moving along. I was going to, real quick, um, we had purchased about $25,000 worth of sea containers from the fire department. If you have not been out to the airport, um, they have erected um, a training facility. Have you seen this, Langston? You can also put it up. You can put it up. So are you the one pushing or are you the one tugging? <laughs> Two drivers and me. Yeah. I've got three out there doing that. Uh, They've directed a very, very nice facility that they can do some of their teach training in, uh, search and rescue, uh, repelling. If any council member would like to repel from a 30 foot story or 30 story, 30 foot facility, three story, right at 40. 40? Okay. Anybody want to repel 40 feet, uh, we can hook you up. <laughs> Bring your insurance card. <laughs> Uh, this, this is just for council members, not general public. Just, <laughs> just you. Yeah, for us, don't bring it. But uh, congratulations on that. It's, it looks like it's a nice. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> I mean, the bill of the. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Now the work starts on it. So that was easy. That was the easy part. That was easy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Anything else, right quick? All right, moving along. Bowser City Council shall meet in executive session as authorized by Texas Government Code Section 551.071, consultation with City Attorney. Update on alternative water project and review of RFPs received for garbage collections. All right. At the end of executive, we'll buy our map back in and then we'll, and then we'll do. Uh, I don't think it's
executive session, we had no action on the portion of our water project. And based on the RFPs, Mr. Park has a motion that we accept the Republic proposal contingent upon the actual contract representing what's in the proposal. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. 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 So we just need to cover that contact. We'll go over that and make sure. Yep. Yeah. We'll still look at the front and make sure we do Thank you, Mark. Thank you for considering our proposal. Yes, well, thank you. Very committed. Very committed. Thank you, Council. You're welcome. Thank you.